Hey everyone, Eugene Fedorovsky from eugenefedorovsky.com. I hope you guys are having an amazing day so far. I hope you're crushing it in your business and achieving all the goals that you set up at the beginning of the week. Today I have a question for you. Have you ever heard the phrase, the grass is always greener on the other side? Unless it's over a septic tank. And uh, let me explain a little more about that. What, what does that have to do with network marketing? Well, grass is always greener on the other side is a phrase that people use to signify the fact that whatever situation we're in, it always seems like somebody else is in a better situation than we are. And yesterday I spoke about comparitis and how much of a disease it is and in network marketing, today is kind of related to that. So the grass is always greener on the other side, or at least that's what it seems like to us, means that in our business, a lot of times we see somebody else having success and we think that they're having it more easy or whatever their team is doing is more amazing than whatever our team is doing or whatever opportunity they're in is better than our own opportunity. And it makes us want to go and check it out. It makes us want to go and join them. So I know people have this, some people who have shiny object syndrome where they jump from one company to another, or they jump from one opportunity to another, one product to another. And the reason being is because when they're in one place, they see that someone else has a better comp plan or someone else has a better team or someone else has a better product, someone else has better something. And they say, well, I want to be a part of that. And then they join, and then a few months pass, and then it's like that relationship period, the honeymoon period, uh, is over, and then it's like, well, I don't like my team, or I don't like the product, as it turns out. Now, I'm not saying that you should always be with the same company. I'm not saying that. There are times that require or necessitate you to move from one company to another. It does happen, and that's okay if you do that. But there's certain reasons why you should do it, and certain reasons why you should reevaluate whether you should do it or not. Now, the second part of that saying is, unless it's over a septic tank. Now, if there's fertilizer, the grass will be green. If somebody mows it, the grass will be green. So, the grass is green not only because somebody mows it, but because it could be fertilized or whatever it is. You don't know what kind of crap is underneath that grass. And so it looks nice and shiny on the outside, but that could be just the presentation. And when you put yourself into that situation, you make the change you need to make, or you feel like you need to make, and then you jump in and you go to a different opportunity, or you go to a different company, or whatever it is that you choose to go down, and then you realize, well, it's not as green as I thought it was. As a matter of fact, it looks like crap. The crap that I didn't see before. So I urge you to strongly consider what it is that you're jumping from one place to another. Now, again, sometimes there are legitimate reasons for. Could be the culture, could be the product, could be something's happening in the comp plan, could be the company is going out of business, could be anything. And that's okay. Know your reasons and whatever your reason is, I'm sure it's good enough. But if you notice yourself going from one place to another, jumping from one thing to another, it's time to reevaluate re yourself. Because here in network marketing, we're supposed to be leaders. We're supposed to be able to lead other people. And if you're the person, kind of person who jumps from things, then you're not leading your people properly. Because they're gonna see that you're doing it and they're gonna think, well, if this opportunity is not good enough, then Maybe I should look for something else. And they're gonna start looking for things as well. So that's not a re really a good example to set. What I do recommend is whatever opportunity you find that you feel is great for you, put your blinders on. Imagine like you're a horse and you know those horses have like these things on their sides of their eyes like this. That is designed so the horse stays on the path that it's going and it doesn't get spooked or whatever's happening outside. So put the blinders on, go like this in your network marketing business and focus down the path that you want to go. Create a success roadmap and 
I've created a blog post around that. I'll probably post the link in the comments below. If not, feel free to reach out to me and I'll go ahead and share that with you. That success roadmap tells you what things you need to do in order to have success in network marketing. And if you put those blinders on and you do the actions that you need to take, you do the marketing, you do the prospecting, you do the reaching out to people and expose the opportunity to as many people as possible, you will be successful no matter what company you're in, how's the comp plan, how's the culture, what kind of a leadership there is, what kind of lack of leadership there is, no matter what the reason is. Take it upon yourself, put it on your shoulders and work. If your team is not producing and you're working for another team that is, find work your work on your business so you can make a new team oftentimes you making a new team will inspire the dormant team they'll be like well who's john who's jake who's maria oh my god all these people joining i don't know who they are what's he up to and then they're going to see that you're prospecting and you're marketing and you're putting pe new people into the team and it's going to make a new fire under your existing team members that is the magic pill if there ever was one in network marketing you do what you want your leaders to do so you want your team to grow go out prospect get new team members and that's going to inspire everyone to work harder even if there's nothing in place that's okay you make it you put it on yourself as a leader to come up with the things that are required and it's okay it may not work at first but it will work at some point if you go through enough videos, if you go through enough personal development, if you follow the people who have what you want, you will get there and you'll be able to lead others. I hope you pay attention to what I said and that you let go of the shiny object syndrome because it's not serving you, it's not serving your team, it's not serving anybody. Put the blinders on, run with whatever it is that you have and you make it successful because the truth is anything works as long as you work it. Prospecting on Craigslist works, putting out Facebook lives work, anything that you set your mind to will work. You just have to do it despite all the problems and obstacles that come up and until you get where it is that you want to go. So I hope you found this useful. If you did, please like, comment and share. There's a lot of people in our industry of network marketing that have this shiny object syndrome. They do think the grass is always greener on the other side. They don't realize that it always will be that way. It will never end. And this video might inspire them. It might help them understand why jumping from thing to thing, trying different companies, different products, whatever it is, is not always, uh, I dare say, most of the time is not the right solution for everyone. So have this message go out to them. It might spark something. It may not, and that's okay. I'm here to help you guys out. Make sure that you get unstuck in your business and uh, crush it. That's, that is my goal in life, to teach enough people to get unstuck like I did, crush it in their business, and flourish and get whatever it is that you want. So with that said, I hope you guys have a great evening and I'll talk to you next time. Take care.